Aquarius. Uh, I wasn't planning on starting yet, but things are just popping out, popping out. So we have the Emperor. Okay. The Emperor popped out, and it was kind of upside down. So I'm going to read it both ways because I'm not really sure. So Aquarius, sorry, this is your reading for December 8th through the 15th. I'm Sammy. I was just praying and then it popped out, so I'm just going to hurry up and start the video. I wasn't ready yet, but spirit's ready. So, this is for all Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Please um, check your other signs if this doesn't resonate for you. My prayer and in intent is that it will resonate for most of you um, in some aspect, okay? Take it out, resonates for you. It can be any topic, love, career, whatever. And most, what I find is most signs go through similar aspects um, of change and learning lessons at the same time through different realities. Okay, so five uh, Aquarius may be in a group and they're all learning the same lesson but through different ways. What is it, son? No, mommy's almost done. I need to finish my video. What? I can wait. No, it's gonna take a long time. When you go watch your shows. Nixon, go in the living room. I can hear you there. Go in the living room. Sit on the sofa, please. Okay. Thank you. So, one may be learning through career, one may be learning through relationship, one may be learning through family, one may be learning through uh, spirituality, one may be learning through just life circumstance, you know, unexpected life circumstance. But they're all learning similar lessons, just in different ways. So please take this how it resonates. First of all, the Emperor popped out. The Emperor is Aries energy. Um, this is... A person who is very firm and very uh, um, powerful okay they have complete control over their life no one else tells them what to do and they're strong they're strategic they're planners they're diligent they're disciplined uh, they don't take no for an answer they're initiators and they're action-oriented like they're just gonna get it done okay it's very serious very firm uh, about what they're doing. So this can be the energy that you're taking on or this can be someone that you're dealing with. However, because it may have popped out, may or may not have popped out uh, reverse, I'm just going to read both. Uh, in reverse, this would mean the opposite. Um, it could also mean that someone is being manipulative, someone is being a liar. Um, but most of the time I would take it as out of control Someone else has control or power over you, or someone else is an authority figure over you. Okay, so either you're the authority figure in your own life, you're on your own path, no one's standing in your way, you're not going to let anyone stand in your way, or you feel that someone is, is taking control and you don't have power over your own life or whatever direction this is. It could be a relationship, could be career, but it's... Um, like it could be a boss type figure. It's an authority type figure. So either this is you standing in your own power, doing what you need to do, or this is someone else that you feel has, um, has tried to take power over you and you feel powerless. So let's see. Tell me more about this card spirit. Tell me more about the emperor for Aquarius. Please give me clear, concise messages. Allow me to interpret properly as you mean them for Aquarius. Thank you. Okay, Two of Pentacles is the planning uh, around money. You may be weighing options here, pros and cons, about two different jobs, um, two different streams of income, two different people. It can be juggling feeling overwhelmed, feeling stressed, or like you're trying to do too many things at once. It can also be confusion, um, like indecision, with that pros and cons, like I don't know what to choose. Tell me more for Aquarius Spirit. 
What is Aquarius feeling, thinking? Yeah. Okay, this is you. I, I really feel this is you wanting to take control of your own life. And you guys have been getting readings like this where being independent, self-sufficient, and abundant on your own is very important to you right now. Okay, the need to have nice things. You want to feel good. Um, Nine of Pentacles is usually a single person. Okay, in this case, in this card, it is a single female, but it doesn't have to be. This can be for males as well. It's just finding your own way. Creating a path where you're completely self-sufficient, you're not worried about anybody else, and you're happy doing it. You're abundant and you're, you're independent and you're happy on your own. Okay, with this Knight of Pentacles, she's very luxurious. She's beautiful. She has nice things. And um, she's kind of like that single female that, that everybody wants. You know, it's like she has it all. She's independent. She doesn't need anybody else for anything. And she's hot. <laughs> this can be male too. Don't get it twisted. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. What else for Aquarius? What else for my Aquarius? Aquarius. Aquarius, you're about to step into some heavy change. Okay. And this can be good and bad. We come into the 21st. And on the 14th, we have a solar eclipse this week coming. So much change is happening. And it's very exciting for Aquarius as we expand into your energy through Saturn and Jupiter in zero degrees of Aquarius. Brand new energy of Aquarius. Okay, we have the Hierophant. This is commitment. Um, this can be control. This can be tradition. This can be authority. Okay, or this can just be you connecting to your higher power, to your higher self. Either way, this is you, like, I mean, it could be marriage. In some cases, it's marriage. You may want to be independent on your own financially, but secretly, deep down, you, you actually want someone there with you, and you want to get married or remarried. Um, but you're weighing the pros and cons of something, or you're confused about something. You may be having a hard time with, with that, but it's because it's like, yeah, uh, I want to have control and power over my own life, and I want to be single and flourish and be abundant. Um, but Hierophant can mean maybe your traditional values are, are making you question that decision. You know, some people feel like they have to get married. Some people feel like their parents or, or their families insist that they get married. Or, you know, some people push for that. Like, why aren't you married yet? You haven't found anyone yet? That type of thing. So it can be you questioning your traditions. It can be you weighing out the pros and cons. Like, do I want to be single or should I... Should I pursue this thing? This can be you committing to yourself and your future and this uh, independence. Or this can be you really questioning um, if you want to... But be coupled with someone, be married and have companionship. We have Page of Pentacles. This is a new opportunity. You may find a new opportunity for a job that comes in. Um, so it seems you have a choice here. Okay, you may already be single and independent or this is just what you want to be and then this opportunity comes in and it allows for you to become that. Very independent, abundant energy. Okay, the Hierophant is like, what's going on here? You may have a new opportunity in love that leads to marriage. So take this how it resonates, Aquarius. You know, Aquarius is very independent anyways. They like to do things on their own. And... They need freedom. You need personal freedom. So the need for independence is not anything out of the ordinary for you. But the Hierophant, which is Taurus energy, you may be involved with the Taurus. You may have a new opportunity with the Taurus. And you may be questioning, do I really want to be single? I enjoy being single. But you have to find the right person that will understand you, Aquarius, and understand that need for space and freedom in order to really settle down for life. 
Okay, Spirit, what else for Aquarius? Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands is perhaps, um, it's like guarding yourself, building up a wall. But this Nine of Wands can bring But this Nine of Wands can bring pressure. It can bring um, you maybe afraid to move forward because you have walls built up from previously. This depends on what this, okay, how this resonates. If it's like the new opportunity, this can be you persevering, willing to fight for it, willing to stand up for yourself and create real boundaries um, in, in disciplining yourself so that you take advantage of this opportunity the best way possible, if it's a career. If it's a relationship, this can be you setting firm boundaries in a relationship as far as what you want in a person moving forward and what you want the relationship to look like. Okay, so you're gonna need to be firm. You're gonna probably need to be this emperor is the case here. If you're deciding to move forward with someone, And there's a possibility of it ending in marriage. You want to set those firm boundaries, be clear, without building up walls and guarding your heart. Obviously, uh, Aquarius isn't the best at sharing how they feel and showing emotion. <clears throat> they are pretty good at guarding their heart, so just be cautious that you don't scare someone away. You know, sometimes it's necessary to show those emotions. But boundaries in place is very important. What else for Aquarius spirit? What else for Aquarius? Anything else for Aquarius? Yeah, this is this may be something that you weren't expecting, this opportunity. Um, but it may be something you're willing to fight for. It may have come out of nowhere, really. And it's like you're up for it. Okay, spirit. Tell me more for Aquarius, please. Okay, um, Spirit said, you're not asking the right question. <laughs> okay, so what action does Aquarius, thank you. Okay, inner strength, you're gonna need to use your inner strength here. This is a Leo card, you may be dealing with a Leo. You're gonna need to use this inner strength here in building, uh, having compassion for yourself and others and trusting. With this inner strength comes trust. It's a real need to trust the universe on this one, okay? So, this is courage. This is also kind of like taking a risk. By trusting, just having faith in your connection to the divine, having compassion for others, trusting that, that others have your best interests at heart. What else should Aquarius be doing? What can Aquarius do? What action should Aquarius take? Justice. Okay, this is a Libra card. Libra could also be present here. But justice is about finding balance. Okay, make sure that the relationship is well balanced, equal give and take. And this could also be the karma card. Whereas you're getting um, good karma. Um, this could also be something that's coming to you because you're answering for karma. Okay, some sort of universal justice is being served. If you feel you were wronged in the past, this may be the relationship that makes it all worth it. Or career. This may be the career that makes it all worth it. Take this how it resonates, please.
This is the this is a wedding card. This is the homecoming, six of wands. Homecoming, celebration, wedding, uh, victory. It's success, it's victory. This is a good thing. So as long as this relationship is balanced, you have firm boundaries in place. This person knows what it is you're looking for and what you want. Okay, or this um, boss or this job, whatever this is. As long as everything is well balanced and you're still able to have a sense of independence and freedom, this will work out for you. This will bring success. This could definitely lead to marriage. Yep, what I just said, equal give and take, reciprocity with the balance card. This is a relationship that gives you as much as you put into it. This is a person who is right there, you're equal, who gives as much as you do, who takes as much as you do. And um, this can also mean shared resources, which means they bring as much to the table as you do. They're able to help you, you're able to help them, and you're able to build a life together. Okay, and this can be taken the same for career. Something that is equal give and take to where you get the credit you deserve, you get the money and the income you deserve for the amount of work and effort that you put in. What is the outcome here? What is the ultimate outcome for Aquarius? Okay, beware of these shifts taking place this week and next week, please. 14th, solar eclipse with the new moon. And the 21st, where we enter the zero degrees of Aquarius. Saturn and Jupiter, hand in hand. Conjunction. On the winter solstice. Which is a really big deal. What is the outcome for Aquarius spirit? What is the outcome? Ace of Swords, new beginning, new inspiration, new idea. Um, this is clear communication and truth. Can you see? Why is it not focusing? There we go. Okay, so be clear. Communicate clearly. If you get a new idea, if you get this new beginning, act on it. Okay, this is thought and communication. Ace of Swords is so mental. This also represents um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, of course. So this is a new beginning. It's like a new chance. It's like a new start. Okay, um, it can be inspiration or an idea. It can also just be new beginning period uh, in a relationship or career. But this starts a new cycle for you. A new, brand new beginning. Anything else for outcome? Anything else for outcome? Hmm. Okay. It seems as though you will have a decision to make, okay? King of Swords. You may still be holding on to something from your past. This is just, this may not resonate for all of you, okay? This is just coming to me now. With this Two of Swords, she's blindfolded. She has two choices. One has the moon on one side, which may mean something is unknown about that thing or your intuition is guiding you about about one of them. One of them feels more guided, okay, if you have a choice to make and or it's possible that you still think of someone from your past and so you're going to have to cut that out. So the King of Swords, okay, if you want this relationship to work, this is going to be very logical. King of Swords is diligent. Strategic, logical, uh, very clear communicator. So if you have to make a choice, let's say you have two options, okay? You need to be very clear and honest about what is taking place here, who it is you're choosing, what it is you're choosing, what path, what path you're going to choose. You may have to cut someone out. This is uh, reaffirming your boundaries. 
that you are going to put in place here for what it is you're willing to accept and what you're not. So with this new beginning um, comes a choice. And we have a king of swords. So you may be dealing with a fellow air sign. This could be the person that you're dealing with. And um, depending on the rest of your birth chart, of course, air always does well with other air signs. So if this is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, I would say that is good. You do have a choice to make. She is blindfolded, so she can't really see the outcome yet, and that's why it's confusing. It's like, well, I don't know. How am I supposed to know the future? <laughs> One of them, your gut is telling you. One of them, you know. Okay, one looks better than the other. One option seems better. If you have a choice to go back to an old king or a brand new relationship, I'm going to say go for the one that is uh, most reciprocal. Okay, the one that feels the best, the one that feels like you have your boundaries in place, they respect those boundaries, you still have your space and freedom, you're still able to do whatever you need to do, and they help you and they bring in shared resources and they give to the relationship just as much as you do. That's the one I would choose. I would almost always never go back to the past, okay? Relationship card popped out, so yeah, I would say this is relationship for a lot of you. Your primary relationship is with yourself and God, and every other relationship follows from there. <clears throat> to attract, heal, or balance a relationship, then snuggle more closely with your loving Creator. As you feel safe and loved within, so shall your other relationships bloom and prosper. So, of course, this is saying connect with your higher being, connect with Creator, connect with God, the universe, your higher self, whatever it is you believe in. Okay, keep that connection with the divine. As long as you're loving yourself and you're on the right path, everything will fall into place. Relationships will go smoothly if they're meant to, as long as your number one relationship, which is with yourself, with your connection to spirit, okay? Get some sleep. Some of you haven't been sleeping. You're being a jerk because you're tired. Face to pillow now. Uh, it doesn't say that. It says bad words, but I replace them. Get some effing sleep. You're being an ass because you're effing tired. Face to pillow now. Okay. So some of you aren't sleeping. You're not taking the time for the self-care that you need. And it's affecting you and your relationships. Just keep that in mind. It's not for everybody. Hey, that selenite popped into my card deck. Maybe this is a sign that you need to go get some selenite. You can get this online too. You can buy it on Amazon. I buy these big ones. It was a four pack for like $22 or something. And they're really great. And I keep them all over my room. And where I work. Selenite increases your connection to spirit. You can meditate with it. You can keep it in your pocket. I have one I wear around my neck. And I always say it's like uh, the, the tube at the bank where you send money through. It's like enhances your connection to spirit. It's just like you and spirit, one on one. And you get really clear communication. Your intuition is enhanced whenever you use it. Um, just don't get it wet ever, okay? It will disintegrate. Okay. Moonology card for Aquarius. Spirit, what is... Aquarius need to know. What does Aquarius need to know? You know, so many, um, so many other signs are having to make a choice as well. And this comes along with this energy of Saturn coming in and giving us blessings or giving us karma. It's like, you have to be willing to choose. And sometimes it feels like a sacrifice. And I mentioned this in the All Signs reading, if you didn't watch it, for the month of December for All Signs. 
uh, everyone will probably need to sacrifice something or feel like they have to let go of something or something is being removed from your life in order to reach the best, highest, new plan, new thing that you're really wanting that brings the best um, ultimate joy. The end of a tough cycle approaches. Full moon in Capricorn. Okay. So... You may have Capricorn in your chart or you may be connected to a Capricorn or dealing with a Capricorn, but the end of a tough cycle is approaching. So if you've been really going through it, Aquarius, it's going to be ending soon. Okay, and it may be because you're having to make a choice. Two paths lie before you. Spirit, tell me what Aquarius needs to hear. What does Aquarius need to hear and see? To the sea. Okay, spend more time by water. You may need to go to the water. Cleanse yourself. Even if you can't get to the water, just pretend, imagine, go in your bathtub, imagine the ocean is cleansing you, okay? The ocean can be very healing. And we have time to go, number 45. If you've been holding on to something, you need to let it go, okay? And that lets you know right now which path you need to choose. If you've been holding on to something, it's time to go. It's time to move. It's time to take action. It's time to choose a new path. It's time to move in the direction that feels the best and resonates the most with your spirit. Okay? Time to go. And this is all up to you, Aquarius. This is all up to you. In this card, you can't really see, but in the back, in the very back, there's a doorway here, and she's running towards it. So it's like it's kind of hidden, you know, and it's it's unknown, the outcome in the future. But she's heading towards that doorway anyways. It's time to go. It's time to move. And that's card number 45. For some of you, that may mean something. You may want to look it up. What does Aquarius need to know? Dear Spirit, bring a gentle touch. Number 18. And I'm seeing a lot of nines here, okay? Four and five is nine, eight and one is nine. So this can mean compassion for others, bringing more harmony into your life, being more accepting of others, being more compassionate for others. Okay, bring a gentle touch to the situation. So be gentle, whatever decision you're making, if you feel like you have to hurt someone in the process, uh, obviously be gentle, don't be mean about it. Whatever choice you're making. And be gentle with yourself. Okay, be easy on yourself and get more rest. That card came out, you need to get more sleep. Any more animal spirit cards for Aquarius? Dolphin spirit, number 20. This and that are true. This and that are true. Number 20. Let's read it. Dolphin spirit, like her earthly manifestation, is a reminder of duality. As the dolphin is both mammal and sea creatures, so too is dolphin spirit both this and that. Two, truth, two truths coexist, the story you tell and another as well. The duality of life is present when we are suffering, for there is a blessing too in the helpers that appear. Within clouds are silver linings. When we later reflect on what happened, we can see that a situation was both this and that. And a choice led to both joy and sorrow. No relationship is either all good or all bad, and people have qualities of both light and shadow. Focus on the positive, for light exists alongside the darkness. Dolphin Spirit calls for you to come up from below and enjoy a weightless moment in the sun as you dive in and out of this and then that. 
accepting and even enjoying the duality of life. Why not join Dolphin Spirit in acknowledging and affirming the blessings that are present in this moment? Okay. So, it may be difficult to make a choice here. Acknowledge there are lessons being learned. There are blessings here. And even if it may be painful to come to this conclusion, to decide on this, this path that you're having to choose, it is ultimately for your highest good and for the highest good of those around you. Okay? So don't fret, Aquarius. You're on the right path. You're doing the right thing. And it looks really promising. So please enjoy your week. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.